Welcome to our journey into the introverted mind, where we will explore eight things that only introverts understand. This exciting expedition delves into uncharted territory with chapters on one, introverted energizers two, the myth of shyness, three, small talk struggles four, introvert superpowers five, the joy of solitude six, the inner world and seven, visual representation. Each of these aspects will be discussed in detail, offering you a unique insight into how solitude isn't punishment but reward, how silence speaks volumes, and how energy is harnessed in the most unique ways. Whether you're an introvert yourself or simply want to understand the introverts your life better, this journey is for you. Remember, everyone's experience is unique. What resonates with one introvert might differ for another. First up, we introduce you to the concept of introverted energizers. Ever wondered why an introvert can spend hours alone without feeling lonely? Well, buckle up because we're about to delve into the concept of introverted energizers. You see, introverts have their unique ways of recharging their energy. It's not about avoiding people, but rather finding balance. While some might find their energy replenished in bustling crowds or lively discussions, introverts often recharge in quieter, more solitary ways. Imagine curling up with a good book in a cozy reading nook, or maybe embarking on a Netflix marathon of your favorite series, all while nestled in the comfort of your own space. For some, it could be as simple as a peaceful walk in the park, or a leisurely cup of coffee in the morning quiet. These solitary activities are not a retreat from the world, but rather a way for introverts to refuel and rejuvenate. Remember, for introverts, solitude isn't loneliness. It's a power source. Are all introverts shy? Think again. It's a common misconception that introversion is synonymous with shyness. It's an easy assumption to make given that introverts often prefer their own company or the company of a few close friends to large gatherings. But here's the catch. Introversion isn't about being shy. It's about where you draw your energy from. Introverts recharge their batteries by spending time alone, while extroverts gain energy from social interaction. This doesn't mean that introverts are shy or that they don't enjoy the company of others. Quite the contrary. Many introverts can be confident and outgoing, even in social situations. The difference lies in the approach. Introverts may prefer deep, meaningful conversations over small talk and may need time alone to recharge after social events. So let's debunk this myth once and for all. Being an introvert doesn't mean you're shy. It means you're selectively social. Does small talk feel like a big hassle to you? Well, you're not alone. For introverts, small talk can often feel like navigating a labyrinth without a map. It's not that they despise talking. No, not at all. They just prefer conversations with depth, substance, and meaning. Imagine being at a social gathering. The room buzzes with chatter about the weather, the latest celebrity gossip, or the newest diet trends. To an introvert, this isn't just idle chatter. It's like a noisy freeway, a drain on their energy reserves. Introverts thrive on dialogues that delve deeper, that touch the soul, that engage the mind. They yearn for conversations that explore ideas, dreams, and passions. They crave exchanges that peel back layers, revealing the core of the matter, the essence of the person. So the next time you see an introvert gently steering the conversation away from small talk, remember this. For introverts, small talk isn't just chatter, it's an energy drain. Ever wondered why introverts are often great listeners and deep thinkers? Well, it's because they possess a unique set of superpowers that often fly under the radar. Let's delve into these superpowers and see what makes introverts truly special. First off, their empathy. Introverts have a knack for understanding and empathizing with others, making them the go-to confidants for their friends and family. Their ability to listen attentively and offer thoughtful responses is truly a gift. Next, their creativity. Introverts spend a lot of time inside their own minds, and this introspection often leads to bursts of creativity. They're the ones who come up with out-of-the-box ideas or see things from a different perspective. Finally, they're deep thinking. Introverts are not just thinkers, they are deep thinkers. They can lose themselves in thought, contemplating the mysteries of the universe or solving complex problems. So while introverts may be quiet, their minds are incredibly loud. Do you feel at peace when you're alone? For many introverts, solitude isn't just a preference. It's a source of joy, an oasis of tranquility amidst the clamor of the outside world. It's in these moments of solitude that introverts recharge, like a smartphone plugged into a power source, gaining energy from the quiet and the calm. In these pauses, introverts often engage in introspection, reflecting on their thoughts and experiences. 
It's like taking a leisurely stroll through the corridors of their own mind, exploring new ideas, solving problems, or simply marveling at the beauty of their inner world. This solitary time isn't about shunning the world, but about embracing the self. It's a time for creativity, for deep thinking, and for personal growth. It's a time to be fully present, to engage in activities that ignite passion, or simply to be still, soaking in the silence. For introverts, solitude is a sweet escape, not a lonely prison. Do you often find yourself lost in your own thoughts? If so, welcome to the club of introverts who find joy in their vast and vibrant inner world. You see, introverts aren't just quiet observers of the external world. They are architects of intricate internal universes, brimming with thoughts, dreams, and reflections. Introverts have a rich mental landscape where they often retreat to make sense of their experiences. It's like having a personal sanctuary, a safe haven where they can explore their thoughts and feelings in depth. They're not merely daydreaming, they're engaging in profound introspection that can lead to surprising insights and bursts of creativity. This ability to delve deep into their own minds allows introverts to unearth a wellspring of inspiration. They find joy in their thoughts, reflections, and the quiet moments that fuel their imagination. So you see, introverts live in two worlds, the external world and their vibrant inner world. Let's take a visual journey into the world of introverts. Imagine a collage, a tapestry of experiences, emotions, and moments that encapsulate the introverted spirit. Each piece is distinct, yet they all weave together to form a rich, complex picture that only introverts truly understand. First, envision a cozy reading nook, a sanctuary where an introvert recharges, escaping into a world of imagination. It's not merely a space, but a symbol of the introverted energizer, a testament to the unique ways introverts rejuvenate their spirits. Next, picture a bold figure standing tall amidst a crowd. This isn't a shy wallflower, but a confident introvert, debunking the myth of introverted shyness. It's a reminder that introverts can be as outgoing and self-assured as their extroverted counterparts, just in their own unique way. Now think of an intricate dance, a ballet of words. This is the small talk struggle, where introverts navigate the often awkward world of casual conversation. It's a humorous dance, filled with missteps and victories alike, a dance only introverts truly understand. Imagine a superhero, cape fluttering in the wind. No, this isn't your typical crusader. This is the introvert superhero, possessing powers of deep thinking, empathy, and creativity. It's a celebration of the unique strengths introverts bring to the world, their own brand of superpowers. Picture a tranquil scene, a serene landscape bathed in the soft glow of solitude. This is the joy of introverted solitude, a cherished time for reflection and self-discovery. It's a place where introverts thrive, finding pleasure in their own company. Finally, envision a vast universe teeming with stars, galaxies, and endless possibilities. This is the inner world of an introvert, a realm rich with thoughts, reflections, and inspirations. It's an intricate world, filled with depth and complexity that only introverts truly comprehend. This visual collage, this tapestry of introverted experiences, paints a picture that is as diverse and complex as the introverts themselves. It's a celebration of the introverted spirit, a nod to the resilience, depth, and uniqueness of introverts. Being an introvert isn't an easy path, but it's a path filled with depth, richness, and self-discovery.